Hey guys, hope you're well. And in this video, I want to talk about three signs if you are mentally chasing and how to stop. Now, first, before getting into this video, let's understand what is mental chasing and why is it not helpful for you. So, as we have discussed before, there are types of chasing when it comes to manifesting anything. It can be manifesting a specific person. It can be manifesting love. It can be manifesting money. Chasing basically means that we are doing something which is not in alignment to our true self, our new self, the person that we want to be. And these actions that we are doing in some way, shape or form are trying to get these things in our life. It is not helpful because it is not coming from alignment. It is coming from force. It is something that we are just trying to do, push, push, push and push in hopes that if we are manipulative enough, if we are smart enough, if we can convince someone for something enough, we will get this thing. Some examples of physical chasing which are easier to understand are stalking your specific person, constantly reaching out to clients even if they are not responding back to you, constantly hoping, constantly texting people who are rejecting you again and again, again and again, being in a consistent space of chasing someone in a desperate way, right? Now, why is chasing not helpful? Because I think that I am one of those people who is very against chasing because on a constant level, I keep making content, keep talking about it here, is that you shouldn't chase, you shouldn't chase, you shouldn't chase. But why is that? Why am I so anti-chasing? It's because I have done it in the past. It's because all these mistakes that I'm talking about, especially when it comes to chasing, are things that I have done in the past. And I have seen that not only does it not get you what you want, it makes sure that as you get out of it, because at some point you will realize that I was chasing, and at that point, you will get out of it. And after you get out of it, it makes sure that those reminders, those memories of that chasing stay with you. And they shape your identity in a way that you don't want. And then getting out of it is work in itself. So why create an issue for ourselves when we can avoid it from happening to begin with? You have to understand that when you can learn from someone else's mistakes, you should do that. We as humans, all of us learn from each other's mistakes. We, through centuries, have learned through mistakes from other people. Because if we have to make all those mistakes ourselves, it wouldn't make sense. Because in this one lifetime, we wouldn't be able to make all of those. And we wouldn't be able to correct all of those. So, learn from my mistakes and learn from mistakes of other people around you. That will absolutely help you. Another reason why chasing isn't helpful is because it constantly puts you in a state of lack. And when it puts us in a state of lack, we are not going to get what we want because when we are embodying lack, we get more lack to begin with. So avoiding that in itself is very, very important. Now, we have talked about physical chasing before, but what is mental chasing and where does mental chasing come into play here? So mental chasing is a form of chasing that is not so apparent. So physical chasing is actually very apparent. You can see yourself doing it. And these are actions that any person can identify that, you know, these are actions that I shouldn't do. But mental chasing is slightly more subtle. It's something that we are doing internally. It's something that we really don't want to do, but a part of us is pushing us to do it. And because it's not so out there, it's usually internal, a lot of times we aren't able to identify it. A lot of times we stay stuck in that pattern of mental chasing for months and months and months without even realizing that we are in it. And the worst kind of mistakes are mistakes we don't even realize we are making. Hence, a lot of times we think that, we think that you know, I am doing everything right. Karan, I was doing everything right. Why did things not work out for me? And then after introspection, we realize that, oh, I was just mentally chasing all this while. So here I will now discuss three ways through which people most commonly mentally chase and what are the things that we can do to stop that from happening. So the first way through which people mentally chase is basing everything on the other person that you're trying to get. Now, this particular one is just for people who are manifesting love or a specific person. Oftentimes, I meet clients, people, and I see that a lot of times we put ourselves in this position where we mold our identity in a way where we think the other person will like us for. Now, this can start very, very slow. It can be changing what your favorite color is. I will give you some examples, and I think that we have all been there at some point, so there is nothing to be ashamed of. But it's very important to accept if we have done it or if we are doing it right now. So it can start from, you know, changing your favorite color, watching TV shows that you don't like, thinking about situations and uh, seeing some uh, situations in which 
you don't want to be within some views that you don't want to agree with it can be political it can be posting things on instagram in poses that you think you will, they will like you it can be consciously watching movies that you think they are only going to like you because of it now there are some aspects of it that you would do if you are in a relationship and that's fine but what is important to understand is those aspects are things that you will do because you love, want your partner to enjoy them with you not because you think that i will do these and only then this person will like me there is a huge difference with this i have done this in the past so when i was very very like i'm talking about way back i used to be very uh, like i am still i love reading books and i used to love reading books but at that time what i saw was that the girl that i was crushing over or was into at that time she used to hate books she used to love movies and i remember at that time i consciously started telling myself that books are bad books are not so great what is so good about books i am not a nerd and all these things i started telling myself till eventually i stopped reading books just in hopes that this girl will like me and will feel more connected with me and in fact the guy that she was actually with used to love reading books and it's not it's it's funny right now but at that time it used to baffle me that why does she not like me like i'm doing everything that she likes because i'm not being true to myself that was what why she was not liking me because i was not me i was just a, just a shell of a person i had became in hopes that she will like me this also goes where we start to compare ourselves with other people who might be trying to help this person so i recently was talking to one of my clients and this client is trying to get this guy she's super obsessed with him and she's working towards that but one thing that kept coming with her was that this guy was in need for some advice some medical advice and this girl was a doctor and this guy was asking her this advice and he was asking advice from other people and there was this girl she was assuming was a third party and she was constantly comparing herself to her thinking that you know what if she gives him better advice he will like her more do you see the undertone of self disrespect that is there that oh i am only worth the advice that i offer nothing else i am only worth it if he gets a use out of me nothing else these are ways through which we self demean and these are ways through which we stop ourselves from shining and the truth is if we would actually stop doing that if we would be our true self people would absolutely love us i wouldn't have a need to manifest or try to manifest things to begin with because i would be my true me and my true me will attract people like crazy because that me is attractive the me that is free of conditions is attractive it's loved it's loving so that me doesn't feel the need to compare because i know what i bring to the table i know what i offer and i don't feel the need to compete someone else for it so that's the first way through which we mentally chase and self concept work like i mentioned the statements that i just mentioned going towards that is a very good way to work on that the second way through which we mentally chase is by constantly trying to change our techniques and methods now this is very common and a big reason why we do so is because after a while no matter what technique that you do it starts to get slightly boring right so if i am doing affirmations after a while affirmations can get boring it can get monotonous visual scenes after a while visualization can get boring it can get repetitive and a lot of times we can stop liking it but two things first of all we as humans are just very very we we just want to run away from something that is boring but boring is a part of our life every day that you wake up you brush your teeth that's a boring activity you go to the gym or you go to your office or you go to work that's a boring activity after you reach there is when your work starts we all do some boring things on a daily basis but boring is not always bad a lot of times we just don't want to actually do the boring work because a part of my mind is looking for that drama hence we are running away from it but doing that work in itself would be helpful that's one secondly what another way through which we can help ourselves here is to understand that constantly watching content on manifestation is also not going to help me because a lot of times we only watch constant content because we think that this time this piece of content will give me the answer now i know that i'm making a video and believe me when i say this i get benefit from you watching this so when i'm telling you that you don't have to constantly watch content then you don't have to right i wouldn't harm my views for no reason so being very honest with you you don't have to constantly watch content now this doesn't mean you shouldn't watch content at all 
if you love watching manifestation content if you feel that this is adding value in your life and if you love watching things definitely do but if you are just looking for the next big answer the next escape the next thing that will instantly get me results content is not for that i have was in this trap once i like i said was into books so when i got into manifestation i just used to read a lot of books i used to read neville goddard i used to read joseph murphy i was just constantly reading right and what i found out was that i was constantly reading but not applying so i still read those books i still didn't slow down but i also started making notes from those books i started applying those things so when i was used to like when i used to read the next book i used to understand what this person was talking about because i had already applied it you can do the same with videos if you love watching videos definitely do but also apply what i've talked about in the last video so if you're watching this video the last video's things should be cleared and applied right or at least you should be under preparation to apply them that is the best way to watch content that is another form of mental chasing constantly changing your techniques and it doesn't really help the third one you constantly try to over analyze everything that the person does so i will explain this to you with the help of an example one of my clients she was not manifesting a specific person but she was manifesting abundance in general be it in relationships and be it in career and she was a freelancer so every time she used to post something and someone used to like it or someone used to comment on it she used to over analyze every bit of it every time a guy that she used to be interested in or she was potentially going to date this person used to send her something a reel or a message she used to analyze each and every word of it oh why did this guy say this why did my client like this at this second and not at 2 minutes ago why did this person see my story but not like my post and she used to over analyze these things in a form of desperation because she was thinking that you know what i need to take control of each and everything because if i don't over analyze each and everything that this person is doing or my clients is doing i wouldn't be able to trust that things can come to me so i feel the need to analyze each and everything because that analysis makes me feel that i am in control but it is a false sense of control it is not truly control it is just my mind and my body pretending to be in control when it isn't and when we do so what do we end up doing we end up sabotaging which is the thing that we are trying to avoid so this is another way of mental chasing that can be avoided and if you are analyzing each and everything the person is doing or your client or your friend or your specific person understand that it's not that deep each and every person doesn't do just like let's say you you wash your face do you think each and every second you know i will splash my face this many times i will put my uh, face wash these many times i will put this dot on this particular place this cream on this particular place no you just put the face wash you wash it and you end up doing it right think about another person being obsessed with you and watching each and everything that you do thinking about you know if she did it this way that must have a reason that's just going to make them crazy and that's not going to be helpful for you too so avoiding that is going to be super crucial so i hope these tips help and i hope that you apply them in your life i will be back in the next week with another video and my next video is going to be a great success story so watch out for that one i will see you soon please take care thanks for watching subscribe and share if you like the video the link for my one on one coaching my self help courses and my free newsletter are in the description box below